Alright, so a lot of students like to use multiplication to solve division, and a lot of times they'll use what looks like multiplication clusters to do that. And if we look at this, so if I was going to have a student attempt to use multiplication, one thing they need to know, remember, is that division and multiplication are directly related. So I know that in division and multiplication, this is my product, and Basically, in division, I'm just trying to find the missing factor. So 63 times what's going to get me as close as I can to 472 without going over. So um, what a lot of kids would probably do on this, again, this strategy is nice because they get to use what they know about multiplication. And again, multiplying by multiples of 10 is a great strategy. So what they'll do is they'll underline this factor because this will help remind them that this is their answer that they're going for. So 63 times 10, let's say is 630. Oops. Okay, that's way too much. So, um, doesn't mean this is worthless. Now I know that, okay, well that didn't work, but I know what will work. Half of 10 is 5. So that means half of 600 is 300, half of 30 is 15. So 63 times 5 is 315. Okay, so now I've got 63 times 5 is 315. I know I'm getting pretty close, so I'm going to get rid of this one for now. Um, so maybe I'll try 63 times 2, because I like to double. So 60 doubled is 120, 3 doubled is 6, so that's going to get me 126. So I'm going to add and see how many 63s, I know I've used 7 so far, but what will that total get me? So 63 times 7 groups of 63 that I've used so far. And I'm just going to add these together. So 6 plus 5 is 11. 4 and 4. So 441. And I know that's really close, so I'm just going to subtract these two numbers and see what the difference is. 472 minus 441. 31. Now, I know that this is less than what I'm dividing by, so I know that this is what's going to be called my leftover or remainders. Um, so I'm just going to write my answer. So it took me seven 63s, or seven groups of 63, to get me as close as I could to 472. And I know if I added 31 more, I'd get to um, the 472. So I know my remainder is 31. So my answer is 30, or seven remainder 31. Um, students also recognize, or begin to recognize, especially when we get back into fractions, that I could also write this remainder as 7 and 31, with what I'm dividing, 63, divided by 63. Talk about that, this, that's what fractions, where the fraction sign came from, division sign. So any fraction could be also said 31 divided by 63. But anyway, this would be acceptable in fourth grade, 7 remainder 31. And again, it's using multiplication clusters to get there. The only danger of this, a lot of times kids are so focused on the multiplication answer that they'll say, yeah, 472 divided by 63 is 441. And if they haven't done any estimating first before they solved it, they're not going to realize that that doesn't make, that is not a reasonable answer at all. So um, that's why underlining the missing factor pair is a good reminder that, okay, oh yeah, this is my answer. And then the difference of what I have left, if it's less than the divisor, is my remainder. So that is the using multiplication clusters to solve division.